This is 15 Minutes of Misery. England swings like a pendulum do. Bobby's on bicycles two by two. Westminster Abbey, the Tower of Big Ben. The rosy red cheeks of the little children. Hello, I'm Sean Locke, and we're coming to you from one of London's biggest tower blocks, Elderbury House, Major Estate, Woodland Avenue, just off the High Street. You know where the old cinema was? Carry on, past the chip shop, Madame Two Swords, Buckingham Palace, left at Wembley Stadium, there we are. Right in the middle of... London! Uh, keep the noise down. Oh, sorry, I've got a terrible hangover today. Not from drinking. You know when you get high on life? Well, yesterday, I got pissed on life. <laughs> I was off my face on life. It started out, I saw these children playing with a hoop and stick. <laughs> so innocent. And then I turned a corner, I saw these Hells Angels helping a mod zip up his parka. <laughs> all that on empty stomach, I was all over the place, you know. But luckily, on the way home, I saw this tramp sucking the gas out of an old fridge. <laughs> and I felt a lot better. And I, I've, really, I've really sobered up today. Uh, I got pickpocketed this morning by a bungee jumper. <laughs> couldn't complain, it's for a local charity. <laughs> but the main problem is my bathroom. Every time I flush my toilet, I can hear Vikings. I've got... <laughs> I've got Nazi Cyril coming round later, and he won't like it. He hasn't forgiven the Vikings for invading West Mercia in 866. <laughs> Last week, he smashed up the local Ikea. But luckily... <laughs> luckily, one of my neighbours, Hot Bob, is a plumber, and he's having a look at it now. Oi, Bob, how's it going? Where's me monkey wrench? <laughs> Is that your catchphrase, Bob? Where's me monkey wrench? No, where's me monkey wrench? I left it on the kitchen table with the mole grips. <laughs> Is that your catchphrase? I left it on the kitchen table with the mole grips. <laughs> There's Brilliant. nothing funny about losing your tools. Well, I'm going back to work. Oh, Bob, Bob, something funny happened to you once, didn't it? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the supermarket, bought a massive orange, turns out it was a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that story. Now, if you hear any strange noises, don't be alarmed. It's only the neighbours. Uh, come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming. Back it up. Back, uh, back it up. In the hot seat. Uh. That's the lorry driver upstairs having parking nightmares. Uh, whoa, whoa, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the great thing about a tower block. So many lives, so many stories going on under one flat roof. And we can listen into them whenever we want. I've got Hot Bob to hide secret microphones throughout the block. And I can tune into them using this machine. It's called the Bugger King. Nothing to do with meat or sex. You know, like with bugging. Anyway, all you do is punch a number into it and you can listen into that flat. Let's listen to Honest Alf in flat nine. Oh, crying's not for me. Oh, no, I've done it again. Where's the phone? Hello? Is that the Performing Rights Society? Yes, my name's Alfred Buttons. <laughs> and I've just been humming a Burt Bacharach tune. <laughs> Raindrops keep falling, that's the one, yeah. How much royalties do I owe you? 42 pence, lovely. A, a cheque to you? Oh, thanks very much, Janet. <laughs> Honest Alf there. What a heartwarming little fella he is. Oi, Bob, how's it going? Yeah, it's almost all this stuff about Varkies down a toilet line about nonsense. Look, you've got to fix it, Bob. I've got Nancy Cyril coming round. Nasty Cyril. How's he these days? Mm, still a bit moody. Yeah, well, fuck, he's down the toilet. I'm off. What am I going to do? Cyril's a nutcase. I wish I'd never sponsored him. Let's try another flat. See, like, I don't think we really exist. Oh. Yeah, like, I think we're just, like, reflections, you know? Like, reflections of our souls that do exist, but in another part of the universe. Right. And the more we move about and, like, do stuff, right, the weaker that reflection gets. So, really, the true path to find our real selves is, well, really, is to do nothing and be very still. Yeah. And even then, even then we don't exist. Ow! What you poke me in the eye for? I don't know. Just bored. <laughs> My auntie believes that when we die, we go through a special astral door and we're reborn on a planet where everything is just slightly bigger than it is on Earth. 
And it's that faith that really keeps her going. <laughs> oh, no, it's Nancy Cyril. Hi, man. How's it all going now here in London? Who are you? Sven, it's me, Sven. Remember? Istanbul, Hungry Joe's Hostel. Crazy place. Well, it's nice to see you again, Sven. Bye. <laughs> Let me give you a bit of advice. Never give your address to anybody ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Hello, Sven, come in. Hey, hey, same joking man. Back in the hostel. That's me, Sven. <laughs> <laughs> Always making crazy times. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, would you like to freshen up? The bathroom's through there. Sure, but first we juggle, like in the old days. What? Yeah, we juggle. Come on. <laughs> I think you've made a mistake there, Sven. Oh, no. You're always juggling no, with no, crazy things. I Heads, plugs, jug- carrots, shoes. Sven, go and have a bath. Okay. <laughs> Flat nine. I'm every woman. It's all in me. I got, oh, no, I don't believe it. Oh, Alfred Buttons. Hello, is that the PRS? It's Alf here. I'm every woman. <laughs> no, not literally. No, it's just, it's a song. I heard it on the radio and it got stuck in my head. No, I don't know who it's by. Oh, is it? No, do I get a reduction if I don't know all the words? Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm not giving serious sponsorship money. It's my last 20 quid. I'm going to give it to Honest Alf so he can sing his little heart out. It's about time someone stood up to these bullies so we can live in a decent society full of healthy, well-adjusted citizens. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, get dressed! Oh, no! (laughs) I love it! Frying bacon with no shirt on! Ah! That's disgusting, getting turned on by a full English breakfast. Hey, buddy, I need to wash my blue jeans. You got any pants for me? No, nah, sorry, Sven. Oh, well, what about the Harley Quinn costume? Oh, what? Your Harley Quinn suit. Crazy colours, purple and green. It was cool for the juggling. Go to bed! OK! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Five. One, two, three, four, five. What's it say? Uh, you have been sectioned at the Maudsley Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Miss a go. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. You've beaten a chronic at table tennis. Collect two fags. Brilliant, my go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Treatment card. What's it say? You see, uh, your medication is being reduced. You're allowed to wear a belt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> they must be playing that new board game, Nutter. <laughs> My granddad always used to say, if you see a blind man in the street, kick him to the ground and steal his lunch. (laughs) For who are you to be more merciful than God? (laughs) He was... he was cruel but senseless. Oh, and you saw her face, now I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind, yet to your river. Got to kick it. Oh, I jump. Oh, dear me, it must be. Hello, is that PRS? Hello, Janet. Yes, yes, it is, Alf. How are you? I got a bit of a problem. I was lost in a rather complicated medley. Now. <laughs> I know I started off with a Cliff Richard, a bachelor boy, then it was Apache, the shadows, and I sort of drifted into a brief My Boy lollipop. <laughs> yes, I like that one. And that changed to David Bowie's Laughing Gnome. And then there was a Norman Cook remix of Billy Don't Be a Hero. <laughs> How can he survive in this world? He's too honest. He's an endangered species. If I don't protect him, he'll be wiped out like the Red Squirrel and Wigfield. <laughs> Oh, hello, Cyril. You should use the lift. It was made in France. I only use British goods. Well, what about your German helmet? Made in Britain. Where's my money? Oh, how was the fun run? Yeah, it was nice. We raised a lot of money for the local kids. Some of them wanted sick. Oh. Right, 20 quid now. I'll go, I'll go and get it. It's in the bathroom. Why am I such a coward? You want money! Why can't I just stand up to him? Remember what your dad used to say about bullies. Son, remember this. Not all bullies are cowards. (laughs) (laughs) I can give him the money, like a coward, or I could give it to Alf and get beaten to a pulp. 
Hmm. Or flush myself down the toilet. Brilliant idea. Head down, here goes. Whoa! There's no Vikings down here. That's a relief. Hello, sir. Who are you? Oh, the name's Ralph. I work down here. Down here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I wake up in the morning, I have a good breakfast, brush my teeth and come down the sewers. A lot of people think it's disgusting, but to me it, it's just a waste product, like potato peelings or hair. It, did you know that there are more germs on a teenager's lip than there is in a bucket full of this stuff? Can you, can you stop splashing around? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I love it down here. You know, I've worked here 30 years, never had a day off sick. I only have three days off a year, Christmas Day, the Queen's birthday and Halloween. <laughs> but what about all the uh, shit? Uh, no, language. We do not tolerate bad language in the sewers. Now, people come down here and they think because we work in a river of discarded fecal material, or SH1T, as you surface jockeys call it, they think we'll be effing and blinding all day long. But no, we're very civilised down here. Disposal of sewage is at the very heart of a civilised society. I'm sorry, what I meant was, what about the smell? What smell? <laughs> Come on, where are you? Hey, keep the noise down. The traveler in here is resting. <laughs> but to be awake is good. <laughs> we have only one life. Hey, you want to play some volleyball, big fella? <laughs> where are you from? Hey, I am from my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I said? <laughs> are you Swedish? Sure, but I'm also Italian and French. I am from Brazil and Tahiti. I catch fish with the Eskimo and drive camels across the Sahara. I hunt bears in Siberia. What's this uh, strange writing? Ah, the ruby out of Irma Khayyam. Yes, I, I wasn't happy with the translation, so I'm reading it in Arabic. Well, could you could you read a bit for me? Sure, yes. Um, al Hakara al Makara Hakba Rayin. What, is, what does that mean? That means uh, this book may not be resold, hired, or distributed without the prior permission of the publisher. I've grown a beard in Canada, a moustache in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I was a pygmy in Africa. <laughs> so I am a citizen of the world. Like the song, imagine no passports or boarding cards. Hold on, let me get this right. Originally, you're from Sweden. Yeah, sure. <laughs> And daydream believe at the monkeys, and finally Waterloo sunset by the kinks. So, how much is all that then? Oh, eighteen pounds fifty-three pence. Well, it's only Monday. Well, I'll have to turn the heating down and cut out jam. <laughs> oh, hello, Sean. Alf, Alf, I've got twenty quid here. I want you to have it so you can sing your little heart out. Oh, twenty pounds, really? Anything I want. Sing, little man, sing. Oh, I forgot. <coughs> oh, what's the matter, you? Oh, underneath the arches. Oh, metal guru, is it you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't a woman be more like a man? Or turn into a holster? Or treat to be like a fool. Treat me green. I am the god of hellfire and I bring you fire. Oh, Ebenezer good, Ebenezer good. It's all over the front pairs. You give me roaring. Me, Cecilia. <laughs> but she'd never lose a red. Even when she was giving it, she said, whoa, with a little bit. Oh, like, with a little bit. He am I. He am I. Go, finger. Oh, take a feet, take a feet, stick it up, take a feet. Bobby's on bicycles two by two. Westminster Abbey, the Tower of Big Ben. The rosy red cheeks of the little children. Sean's 15 Minutes of Misery was written by Sean Locke and produced by Dan Friedman. And 15 Minutes of Misery returns tomorrow night at 11 for, um, well, about 15 minutes, really.